Hello everyone, my name is Jen and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this lit dress in red satin. It all started with a messy plan written in my notebook and an illustration using Procreate. I made my own pattern following some guides from various YouTube videos and pattern making books. I wanted a bustier or corset top without pony but with a really nice princess seam on the front. I transferred the patterns in new paper to add all the seam allowances I need. I'm gonna use this pure silk crepe satin fabric in red, a matching color of thread, and invisible zipper for the skirt. Now let's cut the fabric using rotary cutter. Here are the bodice pieces. I also cut the lining fabric. This one is 100% cotton. Now let's sew the pieces together and do the same for the lining. Then, press the seam open. Here, I'm cutting the front seam in the bust area so I can press it following the curve. For the straps, I cut two strips of fabric with 120cm length and 3cm width. To attach the straps, I pinned it in the middle of the main fabric and lining, facing right sides together. Then sew the upper part. I'm using pinking shears to cut the seam allowance. This is to avoid fraying of the fabric and to lessen the bulk. Then, I'm gonna understitch the lining with the seam allowance and give it a good press. I will now attach the loops. I'm going to do a basting stitch to tuck it in place before sewing it together with the lining. Now we have this beautiful top! For the skirt, I'll be using this formula to make a quarter circle skirt. I added 2cm to my calculation for the slits. For the slit, I just cut the fabric on the left hand side. And then I overlock the edges of the skirt. Ideally, overlocker threads should match the color of the fabric. Then, I sew the edges of the slit, hiding the serge edges with white threads. Once done with the slit, we can now attach the bodies to the skirt. Make sure the seams are matching in front. Installing the invisible zipper. I have this love and hate relationship with this step because sometimes I can make it nicely with one try and some other days I just cannot put it right and I had to seam rip a thousand times and do it again. Luckily this time I managed to finish it. Lastly, hem the skirt. 
I'm pressing the hem first and I use the crease line as my guide in sewing the hem. And here's the lovely slit dress in red satin. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.